almost like once to twice a month. I come in a couple minutes before anyone else gets here and before the doors open and anything, and I just stand up here and I just look around and I listen to the humming of the coolers and all of that and try to just be present in what I've built and what I've built with amazing staff and amazing community. Hey, thanks for joining us for the second part of this episode of American Trade. We're gonna return and talk more with Melissa in regard to the importance of locally sourced meats for her business. And she's also gonna to talk to us about the importance and the value of stopping for a moment to appreciate the work that we put into our business and the accomplishments that we've achieved. Let's hear what Melissa has to say. What is the importance of getting locally um, sourced ingredients? You mentioned using local farms. What is what is the value and the importance of that for you guys? Yeah, I mean the the biggest thing about using local is that I it, one right it doesn't change as many hands right. I'm getting probably the freshest stuff that you'll ever get your hands on. Um, without going into too much detail, it's walking on Sunday. It's delivered to me on Wednesday. I know what the animals are eating. I know how they're raised. I know you know how they're treated. I have the ability to visit these farms. So as as, as a business owner, I feel confident telling my customers, yeah, there, there are no hormones in this meat, or, you know, yes, they are pasture raised. It's not just me, you know, hoping the label's telling me the truth. Right, so you're taking the guesswork out of it, in other words, right? Totally. Almost like once to twice a month, I come in a couple minutes before anyone else gets here and before the doors open and anything, and I just stand up here and I just look around and I listen to the humming of the coolers and all of that and try to just be present in what I've built and what I've built with amazing staff and amazing community. When you guys are in the butcher shop, what are the things that you're, that you're cutting? Um, chicken, we do beef, we do pork, uh, lamb. Lamb is a little bit harder to get just from our small family farms. They just don't raise enough, right? So you'll have lamb around the peak time with Easter coming, things like that. And then it's kind of sporadic throughout the rest of the year. We are known for the different cuts. People come here that you're not gonna see a lot of this stuff at the grocery store. These are cuts that only a butcher who's gonna take the time to cut out will, will pull. Um, commercial establishments, they're not gonna have that, that time. They're gonna pull that and they're gonna throw it to ground beef or whatever it is. So it's about utilizing the animal a little bit different and being more sustainable about it. As I'll call off the rack cuts. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Like, I love learning about people's culture through food, but um, I'm a food person, right? Um, and I think that is something that, like, is, anybody can approach that, right? And so, I don't know, maybe that's the way we fix all the world's problems. Everyone just eat together, right? We just, like, have a day where everyone just sits out in the street and eats across the country. Like, how great would that be? It'd be great. I'm going to start, actually, with getting something from the butcher right? shop. From the butcher <laughs> shop we were looking before we started, so. You like, things may have to leave the case and get started on what you I'm mentioned. I'm into that. So. I'm into that. <laughs> If you like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And please don't forget to share with at least six people.